Well, hello, hello, everyone. How are you guys doing today? Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about um, really how to basically achieve, how to achieve your goals in 2018, um, but not only just achieve them, how to set them and achieve them in 2018 so you can go out there and produce the best results inside of your business. So I'm going to show you how to do that in three simple steps today. All right. So the first thing, um, you know, first of all, we, we always have, you know, a gazillion things that we want to accomplish in life. We all have, um, these long to do lists that we pretty much never get done. And I'm going to tell you why it is because, you know, we look at these, this list and these things that we want to do in our lives and we get overwhelmed because we just don't know how to, um, like what are the little things that we have to do in order to achieve, you know, in order to get to that goal, what do we have to do to get there? So again, in today's video, I want to share with you three simple steps that I actually do in my business. I've been doing this for years and it works every time, every time I want to achieve something very specific, I always follow these three simple steps. So if you guys are ready for that, um, let me know down below, just type ready. Um, be sure to share it, uh, you know, and, and let other people get some value from this as well. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to brain dump. Brain dump. You need to get a piece of paper, a little pen, and literally just brain dump everything that you want to achieve, let's say over the next five years, three to five years. What do you want to accomplish in the next three to five years, right? So write that list down and write a, the date that you want to achieve that goal, okay? Um, and I'm talking about things like health and wellness and fitness, things like something that has to do with your business, or you know your financial goals maybe you want to hit a certain amount of income every month um your relationship goals your social goals your um spiritual goals right write all of these things down with a date next to it like literally everything that you can think about that you want to achieve over the next five years brain dump spit it all out on a piece of paper because once you do that and you actually see the goals that you want to achieve in life, then it's going to be easier to kind of pinpoint your, pri basically prioritize it and pinpoint what needs to get done first. What is the most important to you? Now they're all important because obviously they're all important because we want to achieve them. They're on that brain dump list, right? And that's great. But step number two, and this is the important part. And this is where we can eliminate um, overwhelm. We can uh, eliminate overwhelm. And so step number two is to take, just look at that list that you wrote down and write down the top three, pull out the top three that is the most important to you that you want to achieve. The top three. What are those things that you want to achieve? So let's say you brain dumped and you had this list of like, 50 things that you want to accomplish over the next five years, okay? Um, out of those 20 things, 30 things, 50 things, 10 things, five things, well, however many, take the top three that are priority, that are most important to you that you absolutely want to achieve next year in 2018. What are those top three goals, okay? And I feel like I'm a little crooked here. <laughs> What are those top three goals, okay? Pull them off of that list and add them on to a new list. So now you have two pieces of paper. You have your paper with the list of, you know, your million things that you wanna accomplish over the next five years. And then you have a simple paper with only your top three of those things that you want to uh, accomplish over the next year in 2018, okay? So, um, so now that you have pulled out those top three and you have a date in 2018 when you want to accomplish those things, um, and you know, it could be things like, let me just 
help you do a little memory jogger here. It could be things like, I want to lose 20 pounds by like March 1st, 2018. It could be something like, um, which is obviously your health and wellness category. Because remember in, in step number one, we talked about brain dump everything that you want to accomplish in all the categories of your life, health and fitness, relationships, social, financial, um, spiritual, uh, social goals, whatever, whatever. They, I mean, we have all different categories in our lives, right? So when you do that brain dump, I'm talking about brain dump everything that you want to accomplish in all of those categories. Then pull out the top three that you want to accomplish in 2018. And of course, they're all going to have dates, okay? All of them are going to have, going to have dates right next to it. I want to achieve, you know, such and such by this date. Um, I want to lose 20 pounds by March 1st, 2018. I want to create a strong and loving relationship with my spouse or significant other by such and such a date. You know, I want to increase my income by $20,000 per month by July 1st, 2018, right? So that's an example of what a top three would be. Now, of course, with top three, if we have so many different categories, um, like health and relationships and social and engagement and you know spirituality and all these different categories of course that's more than three but you really need to i mean if you want to really start accomplishing goals in your life you have to stop overwhelming yourself with everything that you want to get done they'll get done okay they will get done but the goal is to start small because we're all busy, we all have busy lives. Some of you are still even, you know, working a full-time job and your time is very limited, okay? So by doing this process, where you're basically brain dumping everything that you wanna get done and just pulling out the top three of the, you know, those categories that you want to accomplish in 2018, right? Which you only have 12 months to accomplish that, okay? So what are those top three? What are the top three that you want to accomplish, okay? Now, once you have figured out and you took those top three out of that list that you created, that brain dump, and you put them on a new sheet, ask yourself, how do I get to those goals? How do I achieve those top three? So for example, I'll just use the example that I just said. Let's say your goal for two, one of your goals, one of your top three goals for 2018 was to lose 20 pounds by March 1st, 2018. Okay, great. We know that's the goal and we know that we have a date that we want to achieve that. But how are we going to achieve that goal? What are the steps that we have to take in order to achieve that goal? So for example, let's say, you know, now you're going to have now you're going to create a separate piece of paper for that one goal that you want to achieve. And on that paper, you're going to write down many action steps that you absolutely must get done in order to achieve that one specific goal by that specific date. So let's take the first one for example. If your goal was, I wanna lose 20 pounds by, what would I say, March 1st, 2018, ask yourself, what are the action steps that I need to take in order to get there? So it could be things like drink more water, you know, drink maybe five 20 ounce uh, bottles of water. Maybe it is to, you know, um, you know, let's say, you know, if, if you're in New York City, let's say like I used to work and, you know, you had to park your car all the way over there to walk, you know, to your job. Well, park an extra, park a little further so you can walk a little further so you can get in those extra miles. I mean, literally now you're brain dumping again. What do I need to do in order to get there? So it could be things like, um, you know, drink five 20 ounce glass of bottles of water. It could be to, you know, take a 30 minute walk in the morning, um, maybe a 30 minute walk after dinner. It could be, you know, increase your supplements, right? It could be, um, take out the sugar from your diet, um, remove the carbs, uh, you know, stop eating processed foods, right? Incorporate more whole greens. And once you have a list of those things that's going to help you to get to that goal, right? What are the things that you need to do in order to get to that specific goal? And once you have those things, 
Now what you could do is you when you have that third list of the action steps, now you can actually take those action steps and apply them to your daily to-do list, put it on your calendar, schedule some time to incorporate it into your life, okay? Um, so for example, if the goal was to lose 20 pounds by March 1st, and you know that you're, you're gonna be working out or walking for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes after dinner, put that on your calendar. Wake up 30 minutes earlier, go for that 30 minute walk before you jump in the shower to get ready to start your day, right? When you finish dinner, make sure that your top priority is to go for that 30 minute walk, right? Um, when you go grocery shopping, shop around, you know, and just get the fruits and vegetables and maybe the proteins on the outside and stay away from the aisles in the inside where they have all the processed foods. Stay away from the breads, right? Start incorporating all those things that you need to do. If your next goal was to, let's say, you wanted to increase your income by $20,000 or whatever the number is uh, by July 1st, what are the goals that I need to do to achieve that? So for example, I don't know, uh, let's just say you made $100 per person per month. Well, if you know that you make $100 per person per month and your goal is to make $20,000 per month, how many people do you need to make $20,000 per month? You need 200 people, right? So what is the goal? We know that you need 200 people, so what's the goal to get there? Okay, my income, my income I wanna increase my income by $20,000. My goal is to get 200 people by July 1st. Okay, what do I need to do to get there? Okay, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna shoot videos, I'm gonna do Facebook Lives, I'm gonna you know, do SEO on YouTube, I'm gonna create blog posts, I'm gonna do all these different things in order to help me to get myself out there to start generating more leads and to you know, start learning how to convert those leads into sales, okay? That would be on that list of many things that you need to do to incorporate into your calendar, into your to-do list, and really make it happen, okay? And that's how you do it. So if you guys got some value from that, just put value down below, hashtag value um, down below. So I'm gonna recap in case you're just tuning in. So the, the topic of today was how to set, how to set and achieve your goals in 2018 in three simple steps. So step number one to recap, brain dump. Write down everything that you want to achieve over the next five, uh, over the next five years. Step number two is out of that brain dump list, take the top three that you want to achieve in 2018. And I hope you guys are writing this down, okay? Um, take the, the um, top three that you want to achieve in 2018. And then what you do is, on that third piece of paper, you have three things, right? I want, to, I want to achieve this, I want to achieve that, and I want to achieve this. And so now what you're gonna do under each of those categories, you are going to break down what are the steps that I need to take every single day in order to achieve those top three priority goals. What are those things that I need to do? And start incorporating them into your to-do list and into your calendar, okay? And that is my process for any time I want to set and achieve any kind of goal that I am after inside of my life in all different categories. And the good thing about it is that it works in every single category that you're trying to, that's in your life, okay? Again, health and wellness, your financial goals, your relationships, your spirituality, maybe relationship with your kids, Maybe, you know, you want to hang out with your friends more and create like more of a social environment and you, you know, whatever it is, right? You know what those, you know what those things are that you're going to be putting on your brain dump list, okay? Only you know what you want to accomplish. Spill it out, okay? And then go and, you know, at least take three of those things and go make them happen in 2018. And that is how I basically set my goals and achieve all the things that I want in life, okay? So, I'm gonna give you some real life examples. Hold on a second. I'm gonna give you some real life examples of some of the things that I wanted to achieve in my business, okay? And in my life, so that you can actually kind of, you know, get an idea of what that looks like. So, for example, 
this house that I'm in right now, I just bought this house. It's a 4,000 square foot house. I have four bedrooms. I have, this is my office here on the first level. Um, we have the guest room and we've got three other bedrooms, right? Three full baths, okay? In a community that I, it's a brand new community that I wanted to move in. I had my eye on this community for a couple of years. <laughs> and I was like, I want to be in that community. How can I get in there? Okay, so my goal was to, okay, well, if I want to apply for a mortgage, and by the way, this was my first mortgage ever because I've always been a renter, but my goal was to apply for a mortgage so that I can get into this house that I'm in now. So what were those action steps that I took? Okay, well, first, I need to clean up my credit, okay? Um, and I need to figure out how, what are the steps do I need, what are, what are the steps I need to take in order to increase my credit score, right? How much money do I have to put aside in order to come up with the down payment, okay? Um, how do I even get that much money to come up with the down payment and still pay for my bills that I need to pay for, right? All these questions I asked myself and then I just made it happen. I just made it happen. So I just kept putting X amount of money away, X amount of money away. And then I opened up little lines of credit and I used the credit and then I paid off the credit. And I, you know, I was doing all these different things in order to increase my credit score. So by the time I, you know, did apply for the mortgage, my credit score was like almost 800. Okay. It was like 750 something or something like that. Okay. Um, and so therefore that allowed me to get a really good interest rate, okay? And to be, um, to get qualified and trusted by the lender who was loaning me the money, lending me the money, okay? So that's just, you know, an example of what I mean about setting your goals, setting your priorities and just going out there and making it happen. All right, so I hope you guys got some value from that. Um, and thank you, David, for the recap. <laughs> he posted the recap steps down below, the three steps. Um, so the bottom line is guys, go out there, brain dump, follow the three steps. I promise you that if you follow the three steps, you will start achieving more goals inside of your life and inside of your business. So if you got some value from this, make sure that you share it, like it, comment, all that stuff down below. And also, um, just to let you guys know, if one of your goals is to generate more leads and convert more leads into sales using Facebook, then I have a free five-day Facebook prospecting challenge that I want to invite you guys to. It starts next Monday, November 27th, and all you need to do to enroll for the free five-day challenge is to go to socialengagementacademy.com. I put the link up in the description here, or if you're watching it on YouTube, it's down below. But um, I, I'll also post it down below too. As a matter of fact, I already have it um, copy and pasted. Well, copied there. I just posted it down below in the comments. So you guys can go ahead and check that out uh, and make sure that you enroll in the five day workshop that I'll be doing to help you get more leads and more sales and really create that action plan that you need to be doing every day in order to to get leads and sales on Facebook for free without any paid ads. So if you're excited about that, put hashtag excited down below. Go to socialengagementacademy.com. Make sure you enroll today, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Well, actually, I'll see you guys tomorrow on my next Facebook Live. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.